Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA has left a lot of us in a tough spot at the start of EAFC 24 with the web app really being a tough grind. It might be one of the worst web app periods ever, and I'm thankful that it's only two days and it's really short because it is hard to get any coins and to get anything going on this web app when they didn't give us any packs. That is the big problem that we're going to talk about today and also look forward to today's content because there actually might be a new SBC today and I want to help you guys make some coins off of that and just talk about the market a lot in general. We have some big updates, especially for prices on these cards. Now, if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you are new. Let's start from the top, right? The web app actually dropped a little bit early. It was like five, 10 minutes early yesterday when we were able to get on the web app for the very first time. So GG's, that was a very nice smooth access period for a lot of people. If you're not on the web app, right now uh i think we just have to wait for friday and i'm glad that the wait is very short last year was like six days to the web app this year only being two or even less than two depending on your time zone and where you're at is is very nice so that's nice at least it's a very short wait now i will say uh if you don't have any coins you're like nate how do you get any coins at all like we talked about in yesterday's video go into the stadium section of your club you can sort right there search and you will see the kits that you chose and the badge that you chose in that early stage right where you chose your nation kits badge make sure you put kits of bronze um type active set those as active and then you can quick sell your other kits sometimes the web app yesterday was a bit buggy there was a couple of complaints around sbcs not being able to be completed and objectives not able to be claimed i don't know if that is still going but you can quick sell your kits and that can give you at least a thousand coins and then you can get kind of going on at least a couple of things now also yesterday right when the web app dropped and everybody was getting on and, and doing this uh, sort of thing quick selling and getting some cards there were actually some really good cards to trade with there were like uh, i think it was goalkeepers from multiple dif different nations we're talking argentina brazil um i'm pretty sure all brazilian goalkeepers were almost a thousand coins at one point even right now bronze brazilian goalkeepers are at are 500 coins apiece. There are still ways you can grind if you have a little bit of coins on this app. It's just tough, right? It is just tough. There's a Liverpool goalkeeper. Okay, he's also just 550. So if you look around, I would, again, focus on the top nine nations, guys. I was trading with a little bit of like, I think Argentinian goalkeepers as well. We're selling for a little bit. Basically, bronze cards, silver cards, those are what people are buying the most off the market right now because the SBCs that people are doing are the Foundations 2, Foundations 3, 4, and 5, which you can all get done. I would recommend going Foundations 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can kind of get all those done in order and get a couple of packs. And uh, at least that's something to do. Now, it's not very fun and it is difficult, but uh, that is something that you can do in this game right now. And Or also, you could just go straight to the market, which is what a lot of people did. Started trading up with a lot of those bronze cards, even silver cards, and golds, right? Golds right now are selling. Um, I think if you look at gold rares, actually, gold rares are selling a lot better than gold commons. If you're going to go and try to trade with a certain position in a certain league maybe like our german center back selling it all for rares a lot of them sell for like a thousand coins or right around a thousand not all of them but you know like these don't but you know pick the right position pick, pick the right um nationality and you can find some stuff that sells so i would just say get on the bids get on the snipes if you want to grind that it's tough but it's doable and I, you know it we're going to talk a little bit more about the market because there's a lot more movements coming today I do believe. Now, also make sure you check objectives too. If you go to the homepage, click objectives. And like we were talking about yesterday in the foundations tab, there are ways that like if you buy a kit or if you buy certain things off the market or like list a lot of stuff as well, right? We were looking for the transfer market mastery objective uh, where you can see like if you list a certain number of players, like I have listed 50 players, right? That was one of the things you get 1500 coins for that list. Uh, 250 you get 1500 coins for that as well so that sort of thing if you have any tradable players in your ultimate team which you can also get from bronze packs which is a bit of a grind but you can get those there um that is one thing you can do Ooh, barcelona center back for a silver ayo that's not bad um nice that is store all in the club all right sweet that's very nice anyways um trading was great for the first two or three hours but now it's kind of really died off and the market is a little bit slower than what it was but Hopefully that changes today, guys, and I really do think that is going to change today. I'm going to transition over to the full game uh, for this one. Now, also, yesterday we had the Team of the Week, which, honestly, guys, this Team of the Week is it's kind of nice. 
Uh, Lewandowski, Salah, Karchawi, Dybala, Hummels. I don't even know if you guys saw Hummels' pace boost. That's a 70 rated uh, or 70 pace to Hummels, guys. A massive pace boost for him. Absolutely love that. So if you're opening any packs, now there's like a team and we can, it feels like, okay, now we can open packs. There's a team and week out there. So that is nice. I've got an 81 double that I wanted to rip on the video today just in case we get something good. Uh, that doesn't look too amazing. Uh, Jimenez, what's his rating this year? Is that Jimenez? He's a gold rare. 82, three? All right, I'll take it. Good 83 rated fodder. That goes straight into the club. Nice. And 83 and an 82. Can't complain too much. But today, guys, we might have our first actual SBC content, and that could be marquee matchups. That is a staple Thursday SBC. Am I going to pack him two packs in a Two packs in a row. We get Jimenez. There we go, lads. All right. Nice. And one of those is going to be untradeable. And a in the unassigned as a dupe. Tammy Abraham and Ospina as well. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. <laughs> you can't write this stuff up. Anyways, today we might get our first content SBC of the year marquee matchups, which might be worth not investing for because if you think about it, if the market's kind of dead right now and a lot of prices are not moving and it's hard to trade because nobody has coins, well, what difference is it going to make when it drops today for marquee matchups? Are people going to magically get coins then to do marquee matchups? Not really. So unless like the first two squads, you know, sometimes require bronze or silver players in marquee matchups, the market may liven up a little bit today, but it's probably still going to be pretty quiet because of just, you know, lack of coins and a lack of people on the game. It's really going to heat up later today on Thursday and tomorrow on Friday when everybody starts to get on the ultimate edition. But always you can look and see whatever is required inside of that marquee matchups sbc there will be stuff that moves on the market for sure um and so that's something to keep an eye on for today maybe trading with a few things for the requirements for those sbcs because they're tradable packs right marquee matchups is always tradable packs and that is stuff that everybody likes to go and do because you have the potential of packing something nice that is tradable now also in yesterday's video right before we it went live uh ea changed the advanced SBCs to be untradeable. And they told us that they changed that because they didn't want people who take advantage of the market. Um, basically, they didn't want coin transfer players that are trying to get coins to get a lot of coins from these advanced SBCs. That was their reasoning. Um, I think that is... I don't like it. I think those being tradable was a glimmer of hope in this web app early game stage period. And now that those are untradeable once again, it is not good. So that is pain. Uh, for that, but yesterday I got insanely lucky, guys. I mean, you maybe have seen the tweet. We did pack an absolutely insane player from a 100k pack uh, as a part of doing the hybrid nations. We got Joe Cole, and I've played a couple games with him. I don't know how he scored no goals or no assists. He feels very good. I'm figuring out this game. It's very different, especially using 80 rated cards. And this this team is pretty woeful. I'll be honest. Tried out a little bit of evolution action. Brant's fun to use, but I mean. <laughs> Besides just Joe Cole, the team's pretty bad. We got to open some more packs, do some more SBCs, and get that coin balance up. Uh, but that was a pretty crazy pull from yesterday. I can't believe I actually got that. That's definitely my first like massive pull off the start, like the first two or three days of this game. It was absolutely crazy. Now, let's talk about the market a bit because something that's going to be super helpful for making coins, two things actually. First of all, FootWiz, guys, just as of a couple of minutes ago, actually, has now started to get price data from the market onto their website. As I checked Footbin, I did not see any prices on Footbin yet. I don't even know if Foot.gg has prices, but Footwiz, as normally they do every year, has got some prices. You can see Mudrick 1.3, Hoyland 1.1, Alvarez is 2K, Gravenberch is 1,000 coins, Javi Simons is 2K, right? It's kind of nice now. Wow, Lewandowski's 100K as an inform? That's actually kind of cheap. Um, wow, that's actually really cheap, bro. I wish I had some of my coins. I've got a couple of flips going on right now, but 100k for a Lewa inform, dude? Wow, man. All right, that's a little bit low. Okay, also with this, guys, it seems like the gold cards are still in packs. Um, still in packs. Like Lewandowski, you see first owner packed ones of his gold card while his inform is in packs. I mean, we don't know for sure. I don't know anybody that packed like gold. Lewandowski or even like gold Muffy yesterday but both of the inform and gold cards are on the market for all of these players the only thing for Muffy is all of his cards are on the market are not first owners so 
Not entirely sure if the golds are in packs with the informs like the leaks were happening. We're going to figure that out really, really soon. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. But the fact that FootWiz has prices is amazing. It's going to be so much easier to track some player prices and to see who's maybe a little bit either overvalued or undervalued at the same time based off of some of the price predictions that we made earlier on. Guys, the market's going to change a lot in the next one to two days, but having prices, price data on FootWiz is actually so amazing. So there's that. That's cool. And then also I wanted to point out FootBin has updated for the advanced SBCs. This is going to help out solution trading a ton. Now, as you can see, there's no prices that are really in here. People are starting to make solutions, but you can't really uh, because FootBin doesn't have any prices. FootWiz does not have the FIFA or they only have FIFA 23 SBCs. They don't have FC 24. So it's not like we can really go on there to look up prices to like trade with some of this stuff. But it's nice to have prices and it's nice to see that this is all coming together. I think today, later on, you'll probably start to see opportunities to trade with SBC solutions, which is one of our favorite ways to trade on this game is seeing and, and thinking about, okay, what are people using for this SBC? What do I need to be buying? What do we need to be looking for? Um, and what's going to fluctuate on the market? So keep a close eye out on Footbin and FootWiz today if you're going to keep an eye on some prices. Now, also today, it's going to be an interesting day because not only um, are people going to be being on the web app today, but at the same time, I do believe there will be people getting on the full version of the game. If any of you guys are doing the whole New Zealand thing, right, where if you switch your region to New Zealand, sometimes you get the game early. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's a proven thing. I think it works on Xbox only, and it's a little bit sus, a little sketchy. I don't recommend it, but sometimes it does seem to work. I don't entirely know, but I think that's going to actually take place around eight hours after this video goes live which is like 8 a.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. UK. That'll be the time where uh, people are actually able to get on through their pre-order access in that side of the world. It's going to be midnight Friday for them, the start of the day. And that's going to that's gonna shake up the market as well. So if any of you guys are still trying to find ways to trade, try to find some uh, opportunities to trade, I would look at the golds and the bronzes, like especially the rare. I mean, some of these cards, if you have like 15, 20,000 coins, get on the bids for like players like Hoyland, players like Garnacho. If you have like one to 2K, that's where I'd be with the bronzes and the non rares and stuff like that. But uh, man, some of these prices, it's kind of crazy. If you look at Footbin, this is the fun part about having prices, right? Ronaldo is 80K. That's, I think, pretty cheap for the start of it. And Bappe is 1.8. I think that's um, a little bit cheap, but not super crazy. Holland's 500K. Some of the cards that are in here, there's like no in between. Cards are like crazy overpriced or they're super duper cheap. Like I was looking through a couple of cards uh, on here as well um, from higher. Diaby at 65K. That's got to be near or close to the top. He might go a little bit higher than that. I think that's a lot for him. Um, Kavicha is 45k. I know somebody who sold him at like 90 yesterday. Saliba's 43,000 coins. That feels very expensive for me. Pogba's 40k. Very, very expensive in my book. Um, but then you've got some other cards in here that are Demarcus Beasley's 100k. Wow, Melito is 100k as well. Interesting. Ferlin Mendy's 90k. Hakimi 90k. That's very expensive in my opinion for those guys. But guys, these prices are going to change so much in the next couple of days especially the next 24 hours when we all start to get on the game for the first time that is when it's all going to kick off and i will say this with the way the prices are and with the way this market looks we're going to transition to thinking outwards a little bit here in terms of market when you guys start to get on the game and we'll start to probably talk about this tomorrow as well as the nike mad ready promo is coming in we're going to talk a lot about market in tomorrow's video for sure because as you get onto the game um finding those players that are undervalued that are not really for starter teams, but for are for those teams that people are going to be upgrading to. Chow many just a couple hours ago was like 8k. He was crazy, crazy low. And you know, him and a guy like Bruno Guimaraes as well. And if I'm looking at his price right now, I'm thinking for Bruno Guimaraes, like, dude, you are way too cheap. 4,000 coins for Bruno. What is he right now? Uh, my search is all messed up. This game, man, there's a couple bugs with this game. I'll be completely honest, too. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm moving stuff, and I got nothing. But, like, he's 4,000 coins. And if you look at a lot of the other midfielders that are in the Premier League, 
that's a card that people are going to be using in their team at least for a couple of weeks. Same thing with Chameni. Four, five, six, seven, eight K for those types of players. Martinelli's another one. Rafinha, who I was looking at, is another one. Saka's like 20,000 coins. That's why looking over this footbin page, or sorry, footwiz page, can give you a good idea of what's cheap and maybe what you could buy after you open up some packs and get some coins and say, okay, now this is something that I may be able to purchase to put into my team and use at the same time, see it appreciate in value as people get on the game, open packs, get coins and start building some teams. So that's something I wanted to point out to you guys as well as uh, something to kind of keep an eye out for as you're watching the market and watching prices, but the market does feel very dead. Um, I'll be completely honest, trading with the low tier stuff. A lot of people on the fodder side of things like the golds are listing cards down. They're getting cheap because um, honestly, like there's just not a lot of people buying. Like if you look at golds that are 400 coins, there's some golds in here that are 400 that probably shouldn't be because they're going to go up for the advanced SBCs because they're higher rated and stuff like that, or they're from certain leagues or certain nations. Um, but just, just keep an eye on that guys. And definitely, definitely be watching those foot whiz prices as they move around. Um, because there will be plenty of potential to be trading and it just kind of like, uh, just maybe, I don't know. It, I'm glad I, as I'll say it again, I'm glad that the web app period is short this year because we need this. We need this game to be here. Now we need everybody to get in this game because now we've got a taste of it, but it's also like, wow, looks like I'm just waiting until Friday to get on the game because it's just so slow at the moment. So that's the video for today, guys. It definitely feels like one of the worst web app periods, honestly, like ever. It's a bummer that it's just so dead on the web app right now, but at least it is a short time before we actually get on the game with the ultimate edition tomorrow on Friday. So that's the video today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below if you found any good coin making methods, or maybe drop down below in the comments how many coins you have if you've been able to get up, up um, you know, get some coins liquidated and up in the top right hand of your screen. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, do that stuff again, and I'll see you guys in a stream today and a video tomorrow. It's been Native Photo Account. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.